my main practice is in in rhinoplasty and obviously always in medicine we have to innovate uh, it's very important to stay constantly updated uh, and with the last trends and to offer the best results to our patients and in that sense in last time piezoelectric is a very important tool that um, allows to define uh, very well the, mainly the, the dorsum of the nose and um, also it's very important to know that it's a marketing uh, place because it's not all the rhinoplasty that we do with the with the ultrasonic uh, or with the piezoelectric it's only two or three steps and I will explain this um, the device is uh, it works with an ultrasound uh, waves uh, between 25 to 30 kilohertz and it's transmitted to the tip of the device with a micro vibrations that de uh, denature the proteins and emulsify the bone it's very selective and needs irrigation and aspiration system to extract the remain and avoid uh, overheating the tissues because the heat can produce a burn. So it's very important to control that. Um, it has a very specific frequency to modulate and to be very selective in order to um, uh, denature only the bone. So um, that uh, allows uh, to demineralize uh, tissues and, and create the, the, the chains. In ENT is very frequent to use. We can use in otology, in rhinology, in laryngology, or in maxillofacial surgery, where it has a very important use in all the orthognatic and all that uh, kind of steps in maxillofacial surgery. Uh, in rhinoplasty, it was introduced by Robin in 2004, um, and obviously it's only a tool that's not replaced the knowledge. Um, cuts uh, through the cartilage and bone prevent soft tissue injuries because it's very selective and allows to us to do osteotomies, ostectomies, osteoplasty, and it needs uh, a very uh, good exposition to the to, to see what we are going to do. So what advantages it, it has? Uh, we can sculpt the bone. Uh, it's very st stable and uh, precise, uh, protects the soft tissue. And in, at the end of the surgery, we have less edema and echemosis and the recovery is faster. So uh, the evidence is, is uh, very uh, poor at that time, but uh, if we can compare, uh, um, we have less edema and chemosis, uh, mainly periorbital. And here we can see the, the device. It has a console, a pedal, the piezotome, different uh, kinds of tips that we can see in the picture. Um, and we can uh, pressure more or less with our hand and we need the irrigation system to prevent the burns. Here we can see a, a home video that I did with, a, El de cómo with a, 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 an egg. So this is some spines that I will introduce. So we can see how we can cut the, the cap on the egg, but without um, broke the inside contents. So we can see that it's very precise. It has the irrigation system, and we can cut the cap of the egg uh, very precise and without injure the other tissues. So here we can see how we extract the cap, and the inside layer is intact. It's really, really precise, and it's a very good instrument to cut the bone. So that's nothing of the inside of the egg, it's outside. So protect the, the soft tissue. So in the rhinoplasty, the steps that we can do, we can do sculpting of the bone. So it's like the textually, it's like to have a, a sculpture so we can uh, remodelate. We can do the osteotomies external approach or internal approach. Here, 
we can see a, a, a video of uh, one of my surgeries where we can modulate the dorsion with the device. We need a very good exposure and we can see how the irrigation system it works in order to prevent the burns at that site. So and we can see how we took the, the, the hump. We can do an external osteotomy that means to do an, a really uh, short incision outside and cut with the irrigation system to prevent the burn of one. Well. And we can do the, the cut, very precise, the cut of the bone uh, through an external approach. And we can do an internal approach as well, but we need to decollate or release all the tissue um, in, in, in a really good site in order to cut the, the bone. Obviously, as I said before, um, the different other steps we cannot do with uh, ultrasonic. So it's very important to know that um, we can do the only um, uh, a few steps with the ultrasonic device. We cannot do all the surgery with this. So um, um, a lot of people use this um, this tool as an, a marketing uh, tool. So um, here we can see a uh, post immediately post up results with less edema and chemosy and with beautiful uh, results. With a less recovery, some patients to the up to the six weeks with without uh, edema and chemosis and obviously uh, with a best uh, result in order to incorporate uh, quickly to the to their activities. Uh, obviously, it has disadvantages. It has a learning curve. It doesn't work in very prominent nose. It's very hard um, sometimes to, to cut the bone, uh, obviously, in, in male or in previous fractures. Uh, it's a slower because sometimes it takes time to, to remodelate the, the bone. And in revision surgery, it could be controversial. Complications that it broke the piezotones burns as i said before and obviously with the heat when you heat we can you, probably you you can have a more um fibrosis or scar tissue so as a final message uh, innovation and constant updating is very important in our practice ultrasonic uh, rhinoplasty is not a type of surgery it's only a technique that we use in break bones and remodelate the hump and we need an equipment and special equipment uh, does not apply in all the cases. And we ha always have to be updating to, to do this kind of surgery. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Gustavo. And that was a really excellent breath.